Hi everyone and welcome to the Witch Doctor's Guide to ServiceNow. My name is Goran Lundqvist and as you might notice I haven't done any nice PowerPoint presentation so for this video this is just going to be a quick tip and a response to a question of the community. So I didn't feel I had the time to do all that mismatch for a video that would just take a, a couple of minutes. Uh, I guess it's knowledge now, so I hope you all are having really fun at knowledge. Sadly, I had to, to cancel in the last minute due to some uh, family emergencies. But hopefully we'll catch you there next time. I'll stay home in Sweden making videos instead. So, for this video, uh, there was a question how you could actually edit the, the footer. The thing you can see, let me get the mouse where it is. The, the footer down here, how do you edit that one? So it's quite simple, I'll just give you uh, nice tips and tricks. We'll go up to our instance, uh, go into the portal record for the portal that you want to change this on. The header and the footer are both in the theme. So you can see here we're using the out of the box stock theme. So let's uh, go into that one. I don't even need to click there, I already had it open here. Here you can see we have the header and the footer. We also have to check the fixed footer, so the footer will pop up here directly. If I don't have fixed, I might as well just show you. I'll hit save and I'll reload. You can see that now, since I have a widget that is very long here, uh, I have to scroll all the way down to actually see the footer. If I use the fixed one, it will always be fixed at the bottom of what I'm seeing. So fixed. Then hit reload. There we go. And now you can see it's back here. So how do I actually change that? Like I said, go into the theme. You can see which footer you are. You can click on this one to get the record. And like 99% of everything else in our beloved service portal, it's a widget. As you can see, we have the template, CSS, service script, all that. You can even open the footer in the editor if you think that's easier. And of course, since this one is out of the box with the baseline installation, we can't edit this one. So just hit the clone you get a copy of that one and uh, I have actually done that as well prepared hopefully why does it look like that here we go and now you can see you can edit everything I have done some changes just to show you how you can actually make a more dynamic footer because sometimes the footer or your theme is actually used in multiple portals and perhaps you would like to have some dynamic values on that one out of the box you saw that I have time I'm just going to show you how to for example fetch uh, the name or the title of the portal just to give you a hint of what you can do so the, basically the only thing I done was these two rows and let me just oh it's too much like that just use this one to get the, the record of the portal and then I just fetch the title value put that into the data.title and then just then add a widget I just use that in the body by calling it here also fetch the time which I define down here as well just for fun so now we made a simple dynamic uh, footer so let's go to the, the theme let's go back to the theme again let's change out the footer And uh, let's reload. And uh, here you see, now we got the title of the page, of the portal, and then the other text as well. This means that if we go, let's do like this. Let's go in and see. I know I know. 
I'll just go for this one. Let's go into this portal. Let's change the theme and now it will probably be totally messed up. But you should see custom support at the footer instead. So let's go and hit that one. See so. And now we can see that instead it says customer support page or customer support is the title. Page is what the footer says. So this is how simple you can basically change the footer on your portal. Go into the theme, clone if you want another one or create from scratch. And then just make it just how you make any other widget insert portal. As simple as that. So that's it for today. See you hopefully soon with another video. Bye bye.